onto our weekly feature, Citizen Planet. And every year, industries produce millions of tons of harmful plastics that end up in our rivers and oceans, not to mention these plastics potentially entering the food chain and the attendant health and environmental risks that come with it. Well, the signing into law of the Sustainable Waste Management Act in July last year is a culmination of several years of coming up with a robust framework for sustainable waste management in Kenya. Now, the act requires producers introducing any product into the Kenyan market to take responsibility of their product throughout its lifetime. Well, Mary Morkey with more in this week's Citizen Planet. The use of plastics is deeply embedded in our daily lives. From bread packaging to cutlery and food wraps, plastic is an unavoidable part of our lives. However, the misuse of this non-biodegradable and very convenient item has spiraled out of control and plastic pollution in Kenya has become a menace in the last one year, prompting the government to come up with policies and regulations to curb it. The enactment of the Sustainable Waste Management Act provided a timely intervention to consolidate efforts from various quarters to collectively fight against plastic pollution. Illusion. It requires manufacturers and producers to be part of an extended producer responsibility compliance scheme. It is an environmental policy approach in which a producer's responsibility for a product is extended to the post-consumer stage of the product's life cycle. Uh, Section 13 of the Act provides that all producers introducing any product into the Kenyan market must institute measures for, for, for compliance with mandatory extended producer responsibility obli policy obligations. Um, the law provides for either individual compliance scheme where if a company has a financial and technical muscle to be able to have a presence in all the 47 counties, they'll be able to go independent. But for those companies that may not have that capacity and which has of course always been the best approach, is to join a collective compliance scheme such as KEPRO to be able to institute such procedures. Kenya produces 22,000 tons of waste every day, with 40% of that in urban centers. Manufacturers pay an amount determined by how many tons of plastics their products generate, and the money is used by the Extended Producer Responsibility Compliance Scheme to invest in local collection and recycling infrastructure. According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, plastic constitutes an estimated 10 to 12 percent of solid waste, amounting to 966,000 tons a year. The end-of-life scenario for plastic packaging waste shows only 18 percent of plastic is recycled, with 15 percent ending up in landfills, while 67 percent was disposed in open dumps. As of 2018, only 27% of plastic waste generated was collected, of which 19% was landfilled and 8% recycled. So the assumption is that what is put out into the market, the producer responsibility organization is supposed to endeavor to collect as much as possible. We might not get to the equivalent, but the assumption is we will get as much pos as, 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 as possible within the material fraction. So you also need to understand that however much a brand may not be my member, when I go to the dump site, I cannot cherry pick. I will collect every material fraction within my, 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 my purview. Odongo says although the uptake was low initially, over 70% of producers and manufacturers in the Kenyan market have signed, handing a lifeline to Kenya's efforts to transition to a circular economy. The organization is working to accelerate the growth of Kenya's recycling ecosystem to a circular economy that will protect the environment. Of course, our true north as, as KPRO is that ours is realization of a circular economy in the, in, in the country. So what is predominant currently in Kenya is that we are more of a linear economy um, uh, ecosystem where we are drawing from the earth uh, virgin materials, introducing it into the production chain, and then uh, allowing our, cons our consumers within the market to be able to consume. From the household level or the consumer level, the same is dispos disposed of into the environment. But now what Kepro is trying to encourage is a recycling, a transition towards a recycling eco eco ecosystem. Of course, realization of a circular economy is still a bit fast-stretched. So the immediate focus for the country would be achievement of a recycling economy. 
Kenya has made significant strides in environmental conservation, key among them the ban of plastic carrier bags in 2017. Last week, negotiators from around the world met at the UN headquarters in Gegiri to develop an internationally legally binding instrument on plastic pollution, with negotiators observing that they are inching closer to a treaty to curb plastic pollution. Mary Mwaki, Citizen Planet.